My name is Donnie Furneaux, executive chef of Rocket 21 Restaurant here in Hillcrest. Today we're going to do Mahi Mahi. Let's get started. Hawaiian Mahi Mahi, a cucumber salad. Bull's blood microgreens, for no seasoning, olive oil, and teriyaki glaze. Whenever picking uh, fish from your, I guess, fishmonger, I like to go to Fresh Market or Whole Foods, uh, the Kroger and Hillcrest, or even the Heights has some really great seafood. But whenever you look at it, of course, the first thing you want to notice is the way it smells. It should smell just like the ocean, real fresh, and have a very loud, pungent smell. And then whenever you touch it, it should bounce right back. How you want to get started with this is you want to rub the fish with a little bit of olive oil. And this way the seasoning sticks. I only season one side. Some chefs will say different, but uh, this is how we do it here at the restaurant. Salt's one of those things you can definitely add, but you can't take away. And seafood like this that's very neutrally flavored is very easily over seasoned. We want to use just a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Now this is extra, extra, this is extra version. This is very lightly flavored. Um, you probably want to use canola oil or rice bran oil. The reason being is if you use an olive oil that has too pungent of a flavor, it's definitely going to carry over onto your fish. And how I put that in there is I put it away from me. That way if it splatters, it splatters away and not back on me. So we're just going to go ahead and let that sit for a second. You don't want to move your fish around too much. If your fish sticks to the pan, it's because it ha it's, it's not ready, it hasn't released yet. You want some of those sugars to caramelize on that seafood. We got a nice sear on here, a nice, uh, we want to cook this on one side for about a minute and a half. Right here, you'll see when we flip this over, we nice and caramelized, a nice brown color. You can see that from the natural sugars of the fish starting to caramelize. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to pop this in the oven for about two minutes. So we've cooked this on, on the pretty side up, the seasoned side, for about a minute and a half. We seared it on the bottom side for one minute, and then we're going to bake it in the oven for about two. Now we're going to go ahead and take this out of the oven. And then what we're going to want to do is you can see it's still cooking the pan. You can kind of hear it sizzling. We're going to let this rest for about another minute and a half to two minutes before we serve it. So now that we've let it rest, we're going to take our fish and we're going to put it on oh, a nice little bed of jasmine rice. We're going to finish it with a little bit of teriyaki glaze. And you can get this at Kroger. You can get the Lachoy brand or you can make it yourself. We're going to top it off with some cucumber relish and then some bull's blood microgreens. And there you have it, pan seared Hawaiian mahi mahi. This is the teriyaki glaze mahi mahi. This dish is perfect uh, paired with the ahi tuna nachos. But this right here always takes me back to the beach and I always kind of want to remember my summer vacation. And this definitely goes perfect with one of our house-made pina coladas. You can definitely get it with a rum floater on top as well. Bon appetit.